This porch is a lot further along now. Last time you saw it, it was just the beams. What we have on trusses, it's blocked out, it's got eaves, and we're just about to start with the sheeting. We're going to be sheeting the roof. You can see all that plywood up there, as well as this roof. It's gonna be a pretty big change by the end of today. Making good progress on this roof. Almost done with uh, this lower section for the porch. We'll be doing this section now, obviously gotta get rid of the tarp. But uh, my dad, brother and I are about to hop up to the, the fun one. So we've got a stack of sheet right here. So my dad sliding it on down to my brother, who's sliding it on down to the end of the roof. Slow and steady on this one. It's just not worth falling on this one. And for reference, that roof is a 2 and 12 pitch, which means for every foot of run, you get 2 inches of rise. This one is a 7 and 12. So for every foot of run, you have 7 inches of rise. Pretty steep pitch. So they have the first sheet down on the roof. And we got a string line running back, holding it at 48, so that we can get these dead straight. Got two rows done, at least up to this point. Still have a little bit further to go, but we have a little bit of an obstacle. And in the meantime, on that lower roof, they're really moving. We're leaving the end out there undone so that the electrical can be done, not inside an attic that's impossible to crawl around in. It'll just make the electrical easier. These guys are now working on the back half of this roof. And at the same time, we have gone up to the peak on this main roof can't really go down there because the sheets are in the way. And we are now working on the back side of this roof. See my dad starting that four foot piece. We're gonna stack them on down, do the same thing. And we're on the back side of that main roof. Okay, here's about as far as we're gonna get for now. On that lower roof, living room, porch. Porch is done. Then on this upper roof, coming along. We're calling it for the day. It's just getting pretty damn hot up here. So we're gonna finish the rest of those cut pieces for the roof uh, later this week. Yeah, moving along. This is a huge step. Sheeting this roof. Oh my gosh, the house is so much stronger and and it it's shaded. It's amazing. All right, we're about a week and a half from getting the roof nail inspection on this guy. As you see, the roof is coming along nice. But we want to show you the dormers that are going to fill in this roof. So we have a 62 foot long roof here. My dad had the artistic idea a long time ago to put up dormers. Now, what is a dormer? It's a lot of work for nothing, really. <laughs> no, it looks really cool. Uh, a dormer is I mean, kind of what you're looking at. It's like a mini house on top of your roof. Uh, at the end, you're gonna have a cool window. Just a really nice feature, makes it look like, I don't know, there's something going on upstairs, I guess. We have this mock-up of this dormer. So on a house where you have an attic that you're accessing, you do want some extra space. Dormers are actually really functional. They give you a way of just having a pop-out and getting more space in your storage, like I said, in your attic. We're not using this attic for anything, so these are entirely non-functional. They're entirely aesthetic, but I think it's a really nice touch. And like I said, it kind of breaks up that big old empty roof. 712 common, right here. So this one here, you go like this. So to catch this angle, you would have a flat into the wood. You would get your 7 and 12 off of this line, right? here, right there, and this here becomes this line here. Dude. So you have to go off the square in to get this plane for the where the ridge is going to tie into that 7 and 12. You have to go off of this line versus this one goes off the side. So I went off the flat end, pulled a 7 and 12, and that became this line. Nice. Six. Can you show that mark on your uh, square again? 7 and 12. 
30.2 degrees common. There's the bottom plate. So this guy is two by six. The vertical is a two by four, but because it's cut at that seven and 12, uh, two by four is the bottom plate wouldn't be wide enough. That two by six covers it. This guy will catch that ridge piece right there. Bottom plate. And here you can see that bottom plate nailed to the roof, as well as that beam that we were just showing you. Next up is the vertical pieces and the top plate. And then we will cut the two angled pieces for the last part of the bottom plate. So we got the foundation of our dormer, first dormer. Now it's time to get one of these rafters. That's ah, about what we're looking at. This is six and 12, close enough. It's gonna be 105 today. Could we not talk about rafting? Okay. No, we should raft. <laughs> get out of this heat. Yeah. Here's our uh, here's our finish line. So our overhang. Ah! Can you hold this, Dad? Sure. <laughs> From there to there is 13 and a half. So we got a foot overhang plus the facial board, which is an inch and a half wide. That's about what it's going to look like. All right, Dad? He's dying from heat stroke. And to prevent my dad from actually dying of heat stroke, he decided to come back another day when it was a little bit cooler. In the shot, you can see his dad or my grandpa helping him out with the house. They finished up this second dormer framing and then the third one after that. And wouldn't you know it, these things are sheeted, blocked, and ready to rock. <laughs> Not quite. We still have to put the roof sheeting on but it's really getting there. It's just like the rest of the house. Uh, we had to get creative with these. Just a little uh, compound miter, meaning you're cutting two angles at once. No big deal. It's really not that complicated. Uh, and we didn't show you framing out the bottom piece. This is for the window. So take your window right here, and you put it in there, you get a dormer. A little bit further on these dormers, got our barge rafters taken care of. Now all it needs is a little sheeting on the roof and this thing's caught up with the rest of the house. And just like the regular roof, be rustic going down for eaves. Beautiful. No one will ever see it, but it's cool. These ones still need to be done. Okay, the dormers are finished up and they are beautiful. Let's check them out. Yeah, look at that. I'm in love with this V Rustic stuff. I mean, you'll never see it, but we're seeing it now and it's pretty cool. Again, these just really break up uh, that big open blank canvas of a roof. If they weren't there, it would look pretty empty, but wow, I think that looks incredible. So this video is not just about dormers, as cool as they are, the whole house is done being framed, really. So it's a pretty big step because two days ago, we passed our roof nail inspection, which means we are done, done framing. Now we can dry this thing in. We can add windows, uh, roof, uh, all the flashing for the windows, house paper, all that good stuff. Just to cap this thing off, I'm gonna take you right back through this house while it's still just framed. I mean, that's, that's all it is, is framed and sheeted, but it's beautiful. I'm so excited for this house.